All right, in this week's Fashion Forward, we've talked about this wedding boom in 2022, and you're probably asking yourself once you get that invitation, what in the world do I wear? So we're talking about wedding attire. Heather, with me right now. I mean, there are so many options. We're gonna go ahead and just cover about four of them. But I thought about this for you because I thought it was so perfect. We've seen so many weddings happening. You've probably been, in, been to one, been invited to a few, and you're like, I don't own this stuff. It's so true. I don't own this stuff. And yet I feel the need to buy something new every time, which is not necessarily the most sustainable way to go about it. So I will suggest something like Rent the Runway is an awesome option. We're talking about weddings and we're talking about, you know, one time use. Yeah, certainly. You're going to use it for one night and also Instagram, social media. You don't want that dress just sitting in your closet after that. So that's the first sustainable thing we should be doing. So what's the first step that we should do when it comes to coming up with a wedding look? So it's always really hard to come up with a look. And I think that it's really important for all of our hosts out there to let us know really how they'd like us to arrive. Do they want to see us in black tie, white tie, casual, semi-formal? We're going to address all of those, but it's really important to get that information from your host. And then you can actually take a minute and look at the venue. Think about what's going on in the background. Look at the colors that are being utilized. Also see, you know, is there something there that's sort of interesting that someone else has worn? A lot of times if you're Googling venues, you're actually going to see other images from other weddings. Maybe you can take a little bit of inspiration from other guests. That's true. And, and I saw a list of a bunch of ways that people could dress for weddings. We have different categories, you know, black tie, white tie. We're going to start with four of those categories. I did see one that said festive. I'm like, where are people coming up with these other options? But what are the four categories that we're looking at today? Well, I will say, speaking of festive, I personally <laughs> was recently invited to a wedding where the uh, casual attire is black tie tropical. And so it was actually a perfect timing that we were doing the segment because I don't know what that means. Uh, and so I needed to actually take a look through what was black tie, what was festive, what were all of these things kind of combined. Um, and so when we actually look at all the different styles of dress for wedding, we start at the most serious, which is white tie. Mm -hmm. And I love this imagery that I've actually been able to find online that really gives you a pretty straightforward idea of what we're looking at when we talk about these things. So for black tie, we're really talking about men in suits, wearing tails with bow ties, oftentimes gloves, same for women, floor length dresses, no questions asked. This is a very, very formal attire, very, very like at peak, peak formal attire, dare I say. And not a lot of our friends and families necessarily always engage in it because it is quite an expensive endeavor. Okay, so then white tie, that is definitely gonna be for women a floor length gown. Floor length gown. Okay. But then we Got move it. into black tie. And I think black tie is interesting because it actually, you know, we talk a lot about floor length gowns for women in black tie, but I also see things kind of moving ahead, maybe a little bit more progressively in the way where we're seeing, you know, hems are coming up a little bit more. Um, and we're also looking at, you know, for men, it's, it's still a tux, but it's not a tux with tails. It's something that's a little bit more creative. You can you know, bring in some color if you'd like to, but for women, again, it's keeping things pretty formal, um, but not necessarily as formal as the white tie. Okay, so that's one that we could get an invitation to, but most often we get this one, semi-formal. That's the next one. Yeah, absolutely. And semi-formal and sometimes kind of referred to as cocktail really is kind of the number one thing we're seeing most often. And that look, as you see demonstrated here, is really straightforward. It's a suit, it's casual, it's smart, it's easy. And it's really what we think of when we think of going to a wedding, you know, being able to engage in your personal style with a look that's going to feel like you and feel comfortable and also you know, sexy and fun. And now this last one can go a lot of ways for a lot of people. We're talking about casual. Yes. And I think, again, I think it's really important that your host kind of let you know what they're looking for, because there is such a difference between semi-formal, formal, and when we're talking about black tie, and then especially casual, because casual is something that really says, you know, wear whatever you want, feel you, be you, be casual. Don't wear sneakers, don't wear jeans, don't wear this, don't wear that, tank tops, maybe not. So it's good to have an idea of sort of what they're looking for, but also thinking about things kind of logically too in your brain. You know, what would you feel comfortable arriving to a wedding to? And also, what do you think your host would appreciate? Yeah, sometimes with people though, logic might not be what Uncle Jim is ready to wear. <laughs> I've seen many times. <laughs> so is there, we have to ask, any flexibility when it comes to these styles? 
I definitely think there is. And I want to be very straightforward in saying that, you know, we're talking about kind of the rules for addressing they're really meant to be broken, you know? And so we are in, especially in a time where we aren't so tied to these ideas of what's a quote unquote appropriate and what's not. So we've spoken a lot about, you know, appropriateness here and how we can kind of, are kind of getting away from that. And I want to say that weddings are a space there too, because when we're talking about black tie, you know, at this tropical themed black tie event that I'm going to, I have a pretty good feeling that I'm not going to see one woman in a long dress all the way to their ankles. So it's really interesting to play in those spaces and kind of see how much you can push the boundaries while also feeling like you're living within, you know, what is being asked of you. All right, I feel like I got a better idea, better understanding, because those invitations are not stopping. They are definitely gonna come from now and to 23 <laughs> as well. Thanks, Heather. <laughs> Thank you so much. You guys make sure that you follow Heather on Instagram at Heather Newberger and then go pick up her book. I highly recommend it. That is How to Date Your Wardrobe.